In this video, we're going to go through the process of upgrading the firmware on your Iponic 614. First and foremost, what you need to do is get your flash drive ready. The Iponic 614 ships with a Link 4 flash drive, although you don't have to use that, so if you have, uh, if you did lose that flash drive, you can use any flash drive that you have laying around in order to uh, upgrade the firmware. So first and foremost, what we're going to do is I have my flash drive plugged into the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and go navigate over to it. So I can see that my flash drive is listed right here under removable disk. Now, inside this flash drive, you should see a folder labeled PRG, if it's already a Link 4 supplied one, and you'll probably see some other uh, files in here as well. If you don't have this PRG folder, you're gonna wanna create it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this one. And again, on my flash drive, which is set as drive F, I'm gonna just right click I'm going to go to a new folder, and then I'm just going to name it PRG. Now we've got the PRG folder. So now that we've got this set up, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this window. And what you want to do is head on over to iponic.link4cloud.com, and you'll come up to this page right here. Now if I go to the support section, it's gonna take me to this page and you'll see a big blue button that says Iponic Firmware Update. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that to download the file. And now that my file is downloaded, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Now inside of this uh, folder, you're going to see two files. One of them is just a user guide and the other one is the actual file that we need to use to up update the uh, firmware. So what I'm going to do is go back to my removable drive or my flash drive and I'm just going to move it over here and all we're going to do is copy this file, this iponic 1.8.1.0 which is the current firmware version. If you're looking at this at a later date it might be a later version of the firmware but that's the one that we're using. I'm going to go ahead and drag this over, put it into my PRG folder and now you can see it's been copied in here and we're ready to go. So the drive is all set up and now we're just gonna go over to the Iponic controller and go through the upgrade process. Okay, so now that we've got our USB flash drive all ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and plug it into the into the back of the Iponic. Now on the unit there's normally a hinged door right up at the top. You can just go ahead and unhinge that, pull it open, and on the back face there's actually a uh, green printed circuit board that has a USB port. But before we do anything I want to stress that you should save any of your configuration or growth schedules because when you upgrade the firmware it will erase all of that. So I'm also going to show you guys how to do that. So first and foremost I'm going to go ahead and plug in the uh, USB stick. So we're going to go around the back and plug it in. So now I've got the USB stick in there. And now what we want to do is go ahead and go to the menu. You're going to go to System Setup. And then the very first thing we're going to do is Save and Restore. If you've already done this, then you're good to go. But from here, you can save and restore your configuration, which is probably the most important one. So once you go into it, you'll see up at the top there's Save Configuration, Restore Configuration, and Delete Configuration. So for right now, we're just going to hit save, and then it'll ask you to type in a file name, since I don't really care what it says, we're just going to call it 2, I guess, and just hit OK, and of course it's saved it. And you're going to do the same thing later on down the line. You're going to go down to save and restore your schedule if you have a growth schedule. So go into save schedule, hit the save schedule button, give it a name, we'll call this one 0, and hit OK. So now we've got everything saved, it's on our flash drive. 
and we've got a backup so that way we can restore it once we've updated the firmware. So now I'm just gonna go back and then we're gonna go ahead and go to advanced, which is number six. Now in the advanced setup, you'll see a bunch of options. We're gonna go down where it says more. From the more screen, now with your USB flash drive and everything backed up to it, you're gonna go ahead and hit number four for bootload. It's gonna ask you if you wanna begin bootload. You're gonna use a scroll wheel to say yes, and then hit okay. And... There we go. Now some of the screens that you had on there are with the new firmware version, so if you have an older version, you might not see the ones verifying that actually say that your configurations are going to be deleted and it's going to set it to the default. So if you have like an older version, you may just see a screen that just says, are you sure you want to you know, continue and then hit OK. So we're gonna sit on this screen for a little bit. It'll say bootload starting, and this should take uh, around 60 seconds or so. And then this is gonna change. So now you can see it's changed to this. You'll have some text on here. It'll show that the file has been found. So it found the upgrade file that we were looking for. And it's just gonna run through the process of upgrading the firmware. and this too should take uh, about 30 seconds. So all in all, the process usually takes about a minute. And after it's done, it'll go ahead and reboot. And now we can see that we have version 1.8.1. .1. If you miss it there, the way that you can get to it is if we go to the home menu, go into system setup again, go down to advanced, and then in the advanced screen, go ahead and hit more. And then right up at the top, number two, you can see controller version. And it'll show me I have 1.8.1, .1, which was the same version that we copied to the USB thumb drive. Now if I hit home and you wanna go ahead and restore your settings, because right now we're just set back to the default, we'll go ahead and hit the menu button from the home screen. And then we're gonna go to system setup, and then go ahead and go down to save and restore. And from here, you can restore them. So if I went to save and restore config, and then I go into restore configuration, it'll ask me what the file name is, and there it is. We have number two that we named. And I'm gonna go ahead and say okay, and that's it. It's been restored, and you have the latest firmware, and you would do the exact same thing for your gross schedules. Just go down to number three, and then go ahead and hit restore, and there it is, the zero file that we saved before. So that's it, you're now up to date, and you have all of your stuff restored, and you have the latest version.